Ear Ground Radio. New voices amplified. It's the biggest virtual concert featuring the best of both worlds, Jar Prazer and Winky D, live by request show. Friday, 18th of December at HICC. Get your tickets now. Greetings. Thank you so much for tuning in and welcome to Ear Ground New Voices Amplified. My name is Plot Mark and welcome to that program that brings you some of the amazing talents and creatives from Zimbabwe. And not only those that are working and living in the country, but also those that are in the diaspora that are making things happen. And today we happen to have an artist who has been making the most noise and the most impact this year, 2020. And we thought, you know what, before the year ends, we need to touch base with him and uh, get a bit of feedback as to how the year has been. He has been trending, he has been breaking records, and has done some of the uh, impact that... Zimbabwe needs to celebrate, and it is for that reason that we are going to be speaking to a man who doesn't need much of an introduction, uh, but this time around he's bringing us so much melody. I'm speaking to Knox Shumbaguni. Tim Zaka, welcome to Eggrant. Thank you, David. How are you doing? No, I'm good, I'm good. I'm about to Shumba. It's been a long time. We've been tracking you down, uh, but it's been difficult to get <laughs> A busy man, but uh, no, a, lot is, a lot, a lot, yeah, a lot has been happening, you know, uh, in terms of work, and uh, that left me with very, very limited time to be on social media, and you know, mm-hmm. spending time on social media doing nothing. <laughs> great, great. You know, we're just gonna take you back a bit. The year started, and you had a surprise, and the surprise has kept us. Uh, um, uh, I didn't hear the question. No, I was saying, Stanga 2020, you, you started that year with a surprise. You know, we started oh, yeah. two snippets of you and Master KG and your brother Tifa Guni recording, and in no time you dropped my melody. Tell us about you connecting with Master KG. He's internationally renowned, the most trending producer, artist this year, and you have worked with him. How did you guys connect? Um, initially, we wanted to work with a certain lady from the same stable. Mm-hmm. But then it took time for us to have proper time, you know, to be in the studio together. Mm-hmm. And then we just decided, you know what, why can't we just go for Master KG? But this was early this year around March, April, mm-hmm. uh, he was not as big as he is now. And, uh, you know, something inside me just said, you know what, so do something with this guy. And then we met, we clicked a lot. He didn't believe that with such talent, uh, I'm not as big as I'm supposed to be. <laughs> so he said, you know what, no, let's work. So we worked on one song, My Melody, and then we built sort of a brother-to-brother relationship, which ended up uh, giving us two more tracks from his album. And, and those, we did them for free. Mm-hmm. Wow. So meeting up, doing these two tracks, I'm thinking to myself, um, like there are a lot of people that are approaching Master KG. Not only, mm-hmm. you know, uh, from, from South Africa, but elsewhere, you know, people are trying to yeah. get him to produce a record for him. But if you did not manage to get one, but you got two productions. Three. Three productions. So we had to experience two. Wow. Okay. Cool. Yeah, we did two more, yeah. <clears throat> how, how, how possible was this? Because at first, people were like, ah, Shumba Watenga collab. Uh, and then 
they 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 started seeing Master KG, you know, talking yeah. a lot about you you being around him quite a lot of times, and then we realized, you know what, this collaboration, I think, uh, there is actually a genuine friendship that has been created there. How how possible was it? Uh, you know, to be quite honest, I was very skeptical the first time I met him because I didn't know him and we we didn't know each other, but he was starting to be very, very big. So I was a bit, you know, uh, skeptical. We met, we started working together and we really clicked. The, the fact that I was coming in with a different style and different melodies, different melody, pro, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the way you sing from Zimbabwe, the way we do things, our melodies, our progression mm -hmm. in terms of the notes. I came in with something different that I never heard before. So he said, you know what, Knox? I really like the way you're doing your things because the way you build your melodies around the beat that we've done, Nobody's ever been doing that in South Africa. So that alone created um, this friendship between me and him. We paid for, for the first record and the rest that happened after that it was, you know, just brother to brother. I remember even like a month ago, he wanted me to come and put some vocals on one of his new tracks. And I was sleeping. I So I decided to give so I was in the middle of the night. I said, uh, bro, me, I don't need a car anymore. It's by the garage. Then he said, uh, Knox, if it's like that, I'm coming to pick you up. That was 1 a.m. Wow. wow. We have and we went and we did what we did. I'm just trying to, you know, uh, make you understand how close we are now, more than just business partners. And he also introduced me to a lot of other people from the same stable. Uh, we're talking of Makadzi, Zander, Zakuza, uh, uh even the boss, Mr. Molao, the boss of Open Mic. We are now very, very close, and that was because of Master KG. Wow. Well, this is great, and congratulations. It was for a very long time. Uh, we have been, you know, sort of dying to have such collaborations. There have been a couple of collaborations between Zimbabwe and South African artists. Mm -hmm. but I think this was major in so many ways. And your video came yeah. out. You know what, what, sorry, let me just jump in there. Uh, the reason why people do collabs is that they push the song, the project, so that at the end of the day, we share fans. My fans from Zimbabwe, his fans from, from South Africa. So that's the main reason why we have to do that. And if the person you are doing a collab with does not share or promote the song. It means that, that that the whole project was just a money project for him. But if you want to see, if, if you want to go back to the time we released my melody, he was pushing and pushing. Along. That's very I true. think that's what made so much of a difference. Most of the collaborations that we do uh, back home with other international artists, they don't become that big because the other person does not really promote the song. So it means that it, at some point, some of the artists don't even believe in the songs that they collaborate on. They yeah. just want the money and then that's it. Yes, it's a money game at the end of the day. If the if Master KG is broken and he wants to do something quickly and someone comes with money, he will take the money. It doesn't mean that he is in the song. He is he's in the song. Yes. It doesn't mean that. But then when he, when, he, when he does that for you after doing a collab, it says a lot. I've seen so many collabs, especially this year, that, that have been happening, even here in South Africa. The other part does not promote that song. It's like it never happened. <laughs> mm -hmm. true, true. You know what I mean? Well, I think that was an uh, advantage for me. Wow, oh, great. So, yeah, Shumba, uh, early this year, there was a bit of talk in the music circles. There was talk that when you attempted to get that collab you had with Master KG, there were also other artists from your homeland that were also trying to get the same. And for some reason, they tried to pull strings on you. Uh, how did that go? What really happened? Um, to be quite honest with you, I'm not very really sure what happened. 
<laughs> but initially we made plans with uh, Makazi. Mm -hmm. I think the mistake that we made, we we posted the picture, me and Makazi, you know, just telling people that there's something mm -hmm. coming very well. Mm -hmm. And then a few days or a week down the line, we just decided not to answer your phone calls all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> so I try to put two and two together. Yes. I also have my theory of what could have happened. Uh -huh. <laughs> but it doesn't mean that it's obviously if something like that happens, you are bound to raise your eyebrows mm -hmm. and try to see, okay, who might benefit from me not doing a collab with my cousin? Who stands to benefit? <laughs> and who loses if that happens? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then, unfortunately for them, or fortunately for me, I ended up doing an even bigger project. And this one, they never saw this one coming. This was the only one. Like Joker. A, yeah, <laughs> Joker. But the mistake that we made, we mm -hmm. announced the date of release mm -hmm. for that video. And I'm sure everybody knows what happened the day we released. I don't want to go back to that. Yeah. But if you want to reflect and you know try to find out possible reasons why this could have happened this way, this yes. trip that we were supposed to do with Makazi, and then also on the day of release, why this had happened the way it did. Mm -hmm. It is someone who is open enough and sharp to see what's going on. So I'm in politics, come on, guitar. I thought you guys as artists support each other. Oh, my artists, some people when they see you know big things happening, it's not every artist who's happy because of the selfishness that we have as artists. We would actually ask or or my artists hope I don't want to buy in I to be the one to get that opportunity. That's what most artists think. <laughs> but at the end of the day, yes. it's a good thing you know, for artists to, to support each other because you will be opening up a path for mm -hmm. everyone else who comes. Yes. So artists should never look at that, you know, from a selfish point of view. They should understand what's happening and what this might do to our industry and what it means to every other artist who's back at home who thinks that it's impossible for them to do a project of this magnitude. Mm -hmm. But l looking at that, are you saying there is not so much support uh, within the music industry amongst my artists, me and uh, <clears throat> I think that's, that's the correct way to put it. Um, the support is there, but it's not everybody. Like I said, okay. I know my people. From the artist, I actually know who means it when they say, ah, well done, bro. I know who means that. <laughs> so the people that I are more like brothers to me, you know. Mm -hmm. But everybody else, I'm not too sure. They are supporting that. You probably, it could have been them, you know, that were trying to the song you know, so that it does not blow. But fortunately, it did. It blew beyond everyone's imagination. And whatever was being said at the time that I released the video, mm -hmm. as a month or two went on, mm -hmm. it meant nothing because the song was just proving that no matter what anybody tries to do, it's possible that we can still have a hit song. When Jesus says yes, nobody can That's say no. That is my season. This was my or is my season. The panels on the concept of this house. And let's talk about that season. Let's talk about the numbers, the impact. Um, mm -hmm. Some of the highlights from uh, the, 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 the video and the song. What is the song and the video achieved? Um, I'll start with the video. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I'm going to be very honest with you. What the video did here in South Africa is mm -hmm. something that I never thought would happen. Mm -hmm. This trend, this video, at yes. one point, it was the number one trending video in South Africa. At the same time, it was number one trending video in Zimbabwe. At the same, same time. 
So it, the success of the trip, this was something that I never expected and saw coming. But uh, if looking at the numbers, we are 1.8 million, we're getting into probably 2 million. And I know that maybe if I had um, an audience that is subscribed to my Vivo or to my YouTube, mm -hmm. it would have been even higher than that. But for you to see what I'm talking about and to try and turn this algorithm, you go to the video né, and you check the likes of the video on YouTube. The likes, not the views. And then go and compare the likes with any other track that you might think. You will see probably my video's got the most likes, especially when it but comes to like our this. market. I'm not trying to break. Yeah, yes. I'm not trying to break, but I'm just telling you what the song has done. And uh, even on iTunes, uh, Apple Music, we were number one for a few days in Botswana and Swaziland, in Zim as well. And now, as, we, as we're talking, it's one of the biggest songs in South Africa for 2020. And that is huge, not just for me, you know, for anybody who really loves him but for any patriotic person this is something they should celebrate, celebrate. Yeah. And, and do you do you feel appreciated and celebrated enough uh back home you know or did you get the support that you, you thought you'd get back home from radio uh the media and the general fans yeah the support is there i don't want to lie the support is there. But it had been a long time uh, when people didn't really give me the, the credit for what I've been doing. We're talking of close to two decades of releasing very, very good music year in, year out. So if you want to look at that and understand that maybe I was not being supported enough, but now they don't, they don't have a choice. <laughs> if you think you can beat it, you come, just come with their projects and then we see. But the appreciation is really there. TV, they're playing the song in Zim. On radio, uh, it's been in the chats, I think on all radio stations. Mm -hmm. And for me, that alone, and even the journal, very, very helpful this time. The bloggers, if, I, if you want to see how many stories. It's been Man. done so much regarding my melody. You will never believe that there's so much articles written online than any of my other songs that we've done before. So big it up to all the bloggers, all the DJs, radio and TV stations, promoters, everybody. Thank you so much for promoting me. But I think people should support someone even before they, they become big. We usually wait for someone to blow. blow up. You know, some comments like of late, I've been seeing some comments of those that used to trash talk the video. Mm -hmm. so because it is what it is. They are now coming and saying, but what were we thinking that time? You know, we thought this song was not very good. Uh, we take back our words. This is a powerful project. Because the numbers are talking for themselves. Wow. And what, what, what do you think needs to be done in Zimbabwe music industry? We're talking of an industry that for a very long time still struggles on so many things. We are there in South Africa where things work, things function. Right now, uh, Big Zulu is the most you know, trending artist, but it doesn't mean that other music or other artists don't play in that space. But in Zimbabwe, from our own observation, you know, uh, and, 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 and they, if, if, if Knox pops up, everybody is turned to think of somebody else, like a comparison of, ah, I know that, you know, is that the same spirit there in South Africa? Is it a normal situation? And what do you think needs to be done? looking back home yeah uh i would like to say that you know i think in every industry there's competition 
and these people that are trying to make sure that this one doesn't rise to a level that I'm supposed to go, you know, it's always competition and stuff like that in every industry. But then if you want to look now, these people are united. So yes. they are united. You they see like so many artists, you know, posting mm-hmm. really get different people. It means they are a unit. And if you do things as a unit, you can go far. Power in numbers. So what I what I wish for and what I you know advocate for is for unity between artists. All of us, big and small, let's be united because if we speak with one voice, nigga, the good exmutians one, can take up pattern. Unity will make us prosper. Unity will make us prosper. And currently, you and your brother, you have got a project. Uh, that you recorded with uh, Master KG that is not yet out, right? Confirm we left with one, uh, that project. Uh, what more can we expect? When is it dropping? Um, it's dropping on Friday, the 18th of December. We did two tracks there, I think number seven and number 12. Uh, okay, so um, we for me, songs. Yeah, it's two songs on that album. Okay, okay. I must go back and look for it. Go go ahead and look for it. <laughs> and then you will see that number seven yes. is me and Chief. Number 12 is featuring me and Tifa. Mm-hmm. So the reason why I'm just trying to put Tifa everywhere I go, I just mm-hmm. want him to be able to stand on his own feet. I need to make people know him because this boy is very talented. That's why you're seeing is on almost every big project that I'm doing, so that people can notice him. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And um, being featured on such a project, again, you know, I know you released uh, my melody separately, and now you get to feature on this mega project. What does it mean? It means a lot. A lot, quite honestly, and this time I'm very glad to say that the support that I'm getting from this time because of that one song that they've heard it's amazing. It's amazing. I don't know, could it, is it because uh, I've sort of done a very good video now and a very good song, so they're obliged to come and support anything else that I do? I'm not too sure. Maybe they just love the song on a reel. But if you go to so many uh, Instagram pages like Zim Celebs, you will find out that it was posted. When we were in the studio, they posted that particular clip. And I went through all the comments. I never saw even one single comment, which was negative. And we're talking of now it's 50,000 views on Zim Celebs. Just that clip we had when we were in the studio after we made the song. So yeah, I think the support is there now, but I wish they could do that to everyone else that needs to be supported. Everyone needs to be supported. And the the point we started having camps, like there's this camp for this person, another camp for this person, and both these camps are fighting. But when that happens, what it basically means is that we have divided the funds. Instead of getting all the funds for one project, on the other project, all the funds go to this, to, to this other person. Instead of doing that, we just, you know, and the room area where you can be chore to, they yeah. never make it on your own. You need support. And my, my eyes are on the We are a very small nation. 50 million is very, very tiny. So imagine trying to split. Uh, the fan home base that is very bad. At the end of the day, you've got lesser numbers than what you would have had if you guys were a unit. Mm-hmm. And ice and roses, does the level yeah. still exist or pango na shumba? Wait, let me show you. Okay, uh, so that you can see that it's it's still existing. Okay. Ah, okay, great. Where I am now. 
And look on top there. Yes, Zaka, Prince, nice. <laughs> cool. Oh, yeah. To answer your question. Yes, so are we going to see more artists? Are we going to see more, more, more artists from Ice and Roses? And uh, if possible, uh, now that you are connected to the root of South African music, are we going to see you plugging in other artists as well? Definitely, definitely. I'm telling you, me, I'm one person who wants to support. If it's within my capabilities, you want know, to help people, I can do it. I've I've actually linked KG up with a few people. Okay. Uh, yeah, a few people. I linked them up already. Uh, so, you know, I'm happy to see our people breaking into the international uh, arena. It's very important because everyone's uh, celebration in victory, it means as well as we are happy because of that. All of us are sad, you know. So basically, I think it was a little bit more as well. Yeah, great. Well, well done. I must say you're doing amazing stuff. 2021 is almost here. Um, what are we expecting? Yeah, um, there's so much happening. There's so much happening and some things that nobody saw coming some collaborations that no one uh, even imagined happening. Okay. And I can tell you, and I can assure we've already finished a number of projects. I a number of songs that we actually on the computer, I won't make a release date yet. So, I'm going to you support. And all the people that support me, please make sure that you go on YouTube. Look for my page, the official page. Go there and click subscribe and click turn on notifications. Because so this time, drops, you see this stuff. Yeah. When anything drops, you get a notification. And, the, and this time, I'm not giving a date or who I'm featuring with. <laughs> I love <laughs> Once beaten, <laughs> once beaten, twice shy. <laughs> yes, yes. So if I do the same thing and what happened before happens again, everyone will blame me. But you also go to the good get So I've learned a lesson. So any time I'm going to be releasing something major, I promise you. So for people to know, or people, to, to to be told that there's something coming or there's something that has been uploaded by Knox, they need to make sure they subscribe to YouTube, Knox Green YouTube channel. And you can also follow on my Instagram because there it is an official uh, platform where I say whatever is coming or whatever is going on that people must know. Uh, great, great. Wow, thank you so much, uh, Shumba. I really appreciate your time. I know you're a busy man, so I'm not going to keep you much. Uh, thank you for giving us this feedback and also uh, reassuring Zimbabwe that what you've heard, the melody that you got this year, is just the beginning of bigger things to come. And also that you're connecting other artists from Zimbabwe to the same network and the channel that you're opening. Uh, I must say, um, the work that you're doing is really impressive. It's quite encouraging for the industry. Uh, we always wanted to see these things happening because South Africa is an example of a success story musical wise and uh, any progress that happens from there also means uh, there's progress on the global stage. That's very true. Thank you so much, Mr. Plot, for having me. I wish we could go on and on and on. You're talking about our industry. Mm -hmm. But uh, unfortunately, since we don't have much time, I'm sure one of these days I'll come back to the platform and, you know, just try to help the people that want to be helped, people that really want to know what's happening on the international or the continental platform mm -hmm. and what you can do, you know, to be able to be amongst, you know, that cream in Africa.
there's so much that people need to know. But research the thing you need to research how a song or an album is marketed. You need to understand that there's things called PR. You cannot release a song or a video without a PR budget. That only happens in Zimbabwe. When you come to the real industry, you cannot afford to do that. That's why most of our artists, they when they try to you know collaborate, it doesn't work because they don't understand the metrics of the industry. Yes, yes. the economy except. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Everybody's been watching there. Remember to subscribe uh, Nox Guni on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and to keep your ear on the ground when something drops, you know, we will definitely keep you posted. He has promised us that yeah. two songs that are dropping before the year ends. And next year, some amazing yeah. fellow posts that are coming. Yes, everyone out there should put the ear on the ground go after yeah. the major plot. <laughs> thank, you so thank you so much. Well, with those words, uh, big endorsement from the boys from Zaka, uh, Zaka boys, Zaka Prince, and we say stay tuned to Eagle. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.